Good day everybody, it's Corey again here with some tips and tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to add uh, tabs dynamically to your list page. By dynamically I mean automatically. It's going to create these tabs according to what it can find in the data. So just thank you again quickly for Xline Soft for this amazing software. Please go and visit their website and obtain your copy if you haven't done so yet. So let's just start straight away. I'm going to show you my screen. And um, what I have here is just sample test data of some products. This is just a list of products. It's a straightforward list page with a product code, a brand, some categories, a color, and uh, the manufacturer here at the end. Um, just see if I can make it a little bit bigger. Yes. So you can now see here at the end I have a f uh, manufacturer column. So the customer asks if we can add these manufacturers in their individual tabs. Now to do so, I just want to show you quickly the help file. So I just want to show you how, how I get to these things. So if you go onto the help page and you search for add tab, for instance, I just click there on add tab and it shows you here this message adds a tab to your page. Okay. It says here uh, that the method is available in the before process events of any list page or your charts page. So all I'm really looking into, I'm trying to understand what's going on. I look at the syntax and I can see this is a class requiring three different variables. So the arguments for this class, they explain it over here. So the where is the where clause. So it's a normal SQL where clause to filter the data for that tab. And then obviously title is what is this tab going to be called? And then the ID is just a unique identifier for that tab. So we're going to use this class, this add tab class to create our tabs. So let's, let's go quickly to the actual data. So here you will see this is what the in the PHP my admin uh, this is what the data actually looks like. Uh, it's very similar than the page that I just showed you. This is just a database view of all the data that's currently in this table. So I'm going to do a quick query just to try and understand what my data output is going to look like and what I should do to create these tabs. Remember, we're going to split it by uh, manufacturer, which is this field over here. Okay, so I'm going to aggregate the data and I'm going to count them each and every record ID because the record ID is a unique identifier within the specific table. I'm going to call the new count field as man count, which is just a manufacturer count. I'm going to bring in the field manufacturer as well, uh, obviously from products, which is the table. And I'm going to group by the manufacturer and I'm going to order by my manufacturer. So if I execute this query, we should normally, we should see something similar to this. Okay, so here you can see it outputs two columns. One is the count and the manufacturer, which means there's two records for this manufacturer. There's 12 for this manufacturer and there's 14 for those, for that one and three for that one. So there's basically groups of four currently in the database. All right, so now that I know what it's going to look like, I can go actually uh, and I'm happy, I'm going to go back to PHP Runner and I'm going to code it here. Now to get access to a database, you will have to start by typing just global dollar 
C-O-N-N, con. This is the connection stream. Now, from now on, I have access to the actual database. Uh, so I can actually perform any query in PHP code right here and I will access the data. So this is very, very nice function or functionality. Now, just to explain quickly what I'm doing here. First of all, I want to count how many tabs we have. So I start by saying the tab count equals zero. I'm going to execute this query, the one that I just showed you in PHP My Admin. I know it's going to output two columns. It's going to output the brand count and the manufacturer. Okay, so because I made the tab count zero over there, I just add one to tab count here. There's actually a better way to do that, but this will work. Um, I create something called tab identify because if you remember correctly, there is a uh, one of the parameters in the add tab class requires unique identification. So this is what this is going to do for me. Um, the records in tab is basically the count. It's just how many records will be there in that tab. And that's the count that I have there. And in this tab description um, is the name, the caption of the of the actual, and then we're going to put the manufacturer name on each tab, and then the tab caption is now just two strings, which is the description, which I join with my second string, where I have the records in. So in brackets, I'm going to put the amount of records within the tabs, just next to the name. Or the manufacturer name okay and this is where the magic starts um, I'm going to use the page up I'm going to say simply by page object you will notice that this page object here is actually part of this page there's a page object over there and this is how this thing is actually very clever and we're gonna say add tab this is my where clause so this is basically going to be saying something like many where manufacturer equals to whatever that tab description is. Then there's my comma, which means I'm done with the first um, argument. Uh, and I'm going to go on to tab caption, which I already created over here. And then my tab identity. Every time when this loop from, it loops from here to there, every time when it loops, this value will change. And because that value will change, it's going to say tab 1 in the first time, tab 2 the second time, tab 3, because it's just a string that I join with the actual count. And that will be my tab identity, which I then use over here. And this is basically as simple as this. So let's publish this and show you what it looks like. Okay, so let's just refresh this page. And how beautiful is that? There's my first tab, my second tab, my third tab, and my fourth tab. Now, these tabs are created dynamically. It counts the amount of records that's in the data, and it put it in brackets afterwards for each and every one of them. What really makes this unique and working well is for whatever reason as the application work and people add new manufacturers to this data it will automatically populate this this amount of tabs so i'm just going to add some data to the database quickly and i will refresh this page okay here you can see that i have added a fair amount of records to this database now there's much more records in there and with different uh, manufacturers in here uh, so I, I don't remember what it was but we're sitting on 102 rows right now and if we quickly do that uh, same uh, group by query um, just basically the same one uh, we now can see that we are 
actually sitting there's a couple of extra uh, manufacturers in the data now okay so we can now go back to our products page and just do a refresh but remember there was only these four but because I added data to it we just do a refresh and this is how beautiful this is actually working now there is a lot more tabs and dynamically created from what it could find in the data now I think this is a really nice way to dynamically add extra tabs to your uh, list page if you just think about it you can actually be very creative and create very nice projects so hopefully this was helping somebody and thank again for watching till next time